Oh, what on earth have you brought me to here? Uh, I brought you on a special night out, Wayne. Your big chance. You're gonna night eat... out to what? It's a flipping it, mill in Blackburn. It is a disused mill sort of warehouse in Blackburn, but it's uh, you're going to ride a bike. Oh, yes, indeed. You're going to ride a like bike. A Ducati or something? Uh, it looked like that, but a bit smaller. This oh. is a night out with a bike club. Oh, excellent. Right so uh, get chains and, I, and I'll... What do I need? A bit of gear, like? I'll race you. You're going to have a race with me? Yes. Oh, yes, indeed. That'll do for me. Something oh, you can't wait. Something you don't mind getting wrecked. What, that bodily? Yeah. Oh, see. Right. So what do you think of that then? Good isn't it, good fun. Well, it's good fun but I've sustained an injury. Have you, what's up? I've hurt my elbow, I'm leaning on it now, pretending it so, doesn't so, hurt. So we've been out once, how many times did you come off? Well, in the practice, I actually stayed upright. Right. But in the race, I'm afraid I fell off twice. Right. Well, I fell off once in the race and then my flipping chain fell off, so I, I was nobbled. Are we pulling excuses here now? Somebody then? nobbled my bike and the right? chain fell off and I, I couldn't finish the race. I can assure you it wasn't me, but I finished the race in second, even though I fell off twice. But it was decidedly <laughs> embarrassing, the reason I fell off. And the fact was, there was no pressure on me at the time. No, exactly. I, you know what I say? I say to people, if you don't fall off, you're not doing it properly. That's my excuse. Oh, is that right? Well, I yeah. fell off twice, so I must have been doing it twice as good as I need to do. <laughs> but tell, these bikes, I can't. I can't believe it. They're, Brilliant, aren't they? They're unbelievable. I mean, people look at them as a toy, but they're not a toy. I mean, that, no. that, that felt like a 500 GP bike. Well, power to weight ratio is about equivalent to a Grand Prix bike. Oh, well, the way I went round there, then, like, uh, doing ought to just be careful. Is it six horsepower or something there? Is that right? Thereabouts, some about 18, what? 18 kilograms or something. And that relates to a 500 GP bike? Thereabouts, yeah. Well, that's the nearest they're ever going to let me get on one, <laughs> isn't it? You know, I mean, these are, how much do these things cost? Sort of seven, 800 quid for a second M1? I haven't got a clue. Well, what about a GP bike? Have you idea how much one of them costs? Well, you just can't if you can't buy them. All oh, right then, well, we'll better just stick to these <laughs> and we'll, we'll put a little label on saying pretend 500. Yes. What have you roped us into here? I'm sustained many, many injuries. I'm bruised. I'm sore. I'm also highly embarrassed about my efforts. You've done a good Bennett. job. Do you think so? Yeah. Well, yeah I wish, hey, Beat only, me. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is excellent, this. And this is obviously something you've arranged through the club. How many people have you brought here tonight? Well, I intended on bringing about 25 minimum. We ended up with about 50 people here. It shows you it's how keen they are, yeah. And they're obviously all enjoying themselves. Nobody's sustained, there's no, no fatalities. Not Nobody's yet. been stretched, <laughs> as, stretched off. But I mean, there's been some uh, hairy moments, haven't there? Severely hairy moments. Yeah. We all fell off, I think. Oh, definitely, yeah. 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 Every lap, in my case, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, is this something that you do with the Warrington? It's a Warrington Motorcycle Club, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Is this something you, you don't do this on a weekly basis, do you? No, not really, no. No and again. How often? Um, usually with the winter months, because the summer months is taken up with uh, going to meetings, ride outs, camping. Yeah. yeah. The summer months, it's always, uh, winter months, it's always quiet, so we organise things like this. Yeah. And other things. I know that you do charitable things as yeah, well. Yeah, we do, don't yeah. You? Yeah, What's, tell us about that. Uh, we help to run the uh, Great Northern Bike Run, yeah. which is Norton Park. Uh, we do the BMF, which is, I'm not sure if it's um, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, we do uh, the Make a Wish Appeal. Uh, we do toy runs, Christmas things, charities, all sorts of things like that. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this is this is arranged by you and the club committee mm. for the bike club. Yeah. What's the qualifications to be in your club? No qualifications whatsoever. 
any age, any gender, doesn't make a difference. You and don't... do you have to have a bike? No, not really, no. Well, there we go, then. There's an advert for you. Warrington Motorcycle Club. I believe meet on a Friday night. I believe they meet at Winnick somewhere, don't yes. you? Yeah. Winnick Sports and Social Club. Oh, I've got go. it right this time. Yeah, you've got the plug in. <laughs> right, well, that's all we need to know, because I'm keen to get back on these bikes. Me and too. There's a possibility we're in the semis, maybe. Hopefully, yeah. I don't think we've gone right through to the finals. <laughs> no, we'll go and do Try it. Best. We'll go and do our bit. And uh, you may see us on the rostrum later on, eh? So what do you think of that then? Brilliant, I enjoyed it very much. Can I just inquire as to where, <laughs> where were you in the semis? Uh, well, I was trying far too hard. Is that what it was? And I've, I've worn a few, uh, a few bits off me... Off uh, your skin? Off my skin, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been off more than I've been on. I'm a bit concerned about taking my gear off because I think there's some of my skin stuck to my suit. Well, I believe you accused me of, the, what was it, dangerous driving, you said. I do we believe. In the same race. I've got witnesses to the effect <laughs> no. that you shoved me off. No, I would say... I didn't, aggressive driving. I don't know how you Aggressive riding, night. aggressive yeah. riding. Yeah. You don't get anywhere unless you're aggressive. I was, I was a gentleman. I'm a sporting yeah. gentleman and I hesitated to to overtake anyone because it's not fair. You know, they're there. I think so, yeah. no, it's not fair. <laughs> the secret is, you know, it's not racing, is it? It's balancing. I don't He's know what it is, on. mate. I don't know how you could even come it's, up with that. It's stay <coughs> on, it? That's the secret. But it's a good night out, something a, that you should I think if you're in a club, it's a great way It's to just a bloody evening. good laugh. Much better than sat in the pub. Well, I just want to point out, they're not toys. They are. Oh, absolutely. They're, they're, I mean, look at this thing. This just looks too good to ride. It looks like it should be on our mankle piece at home. Yeah, it's very nice. It's the business. It? So, what's it cost? 25 quid for a night here? Yeah, it has done. That's and, everything, uh, isn't it? Yeah, and you owe me that, by the way. Oh, right, OK, yeah. yeah. Now um, you brought the subject All this mission is a coffee machine, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we need, a brew, or possibly a small beverage in the form <laughs> of a pipe pot. And I can just hear it being poured now yeah. as we speak. And a tube of elastoplast. <laughs> yeah. Some germaline. I could do with a nurse. <laughs> nurse, <laughs> yeah. <we> all. <laughs> Rum, rum, look at that, eh? Found myself a bike my size. Four wheels mine, because I fall off two. Look at this, I've been looking for some gloves and I've found three different gloves of different types. But I've got this one, Exotica, 250 quid from Italy by Spider. It is the business, it's got carbon fibre all over it, but it should be the business. I'd want it to make a cup of tea for me at 250 quid. But they've got a nice little idea here that covers up this very little bone here in your wrist that very often gets damaged and that is covered up and adjustable in position by that one quite a good idea but at 250 quid when you can buy something like that at 35 pounds oh, okay it's not as high tech and it hasn't got carbon fiber but it's a good piece of leather it's got kevlar stitching and kevlar bound underneath for protection and that's by revit of uh, holland the dutch company i've spoke of earlier but this one, I like this. This is for your commuters. This is real, keep your hands dry and keep your hands warm for those moped and scooter users. Because that's a waterproof cover there. Nice bit of grip for on the handlebars. And in addition to that, we just pull, and lo and behold, underneath, a nice fleece warm glove, which you can wear for just general use, driving the car or whatever. Clever, isn't it, eh? Yeah, all I need to do now is go and find a bike to use these gloves on.